Well, hello. I'm Rebecca. Or Reb. But never. Ever. Becky. And this is Albert. And Poppy's over there sleeping on a warm blanket, like always. <sighs> so, I am gonna show you today my snow bunnies, my winter growers, my Wisconsin plants. I have quite a few. It's been a really good growing winter. I don't know what's going on, but they like it. <sighs> There's a few who don't seem to like it, but not many. Um, I have really good light in this apartment. As you probably know, if you have seen like my tour when I moved into this place, um, the problem with the windows is they're extremely drafty. They don't seal well at all. And they're like, they're newer windows, but they're single pane windows. I don't know why they did that, but they're very, very drafty. Like it comes right in. So a lot of them seem, well, not a lot. A couple of them seem to not like that cold. So on a couple of the windows. Now, if I, if I could afford it, I would have gone and bought some of that winter ceiling clear ugly stuff that you can put over windows and like take the hair dryer to but I can't afford that crap so <laughs> yesterday in an effort to help I took a whole bunch of just saran wrap and like put it over the bottom part where the window comes down and it doesn't and the wind comes just right through there <laughs> so it looks horrible <laughs> it doesn't do a very good job, but it's better than nothing. That's the ghetto version of that window stuff, that 3M window stuff. That's that's the ghetto version. <laughs> Classy. Yep. But they're real bad. So there's a few plants that are losing some lower leaves, and I think it's entirely because of the cold. So I'm a little concerned about those, and a couple of them are plants that I really love. So maybe I'll show you that. I'll show you my saran wrap. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that's me. But I have a lot of plants that are really seem to be Wisconsin plants. So um, they're doing fantastic. So I'm just gonna walk you around and show you some of these winter growers and um, maybe they'll grow well for you in the winter too. I don't know. Well, maybe only if you live in magical Wisconsin. Maybe you're gonna wanna move right up here. Yep, just for your plants. <laughs> yep. Okay, um, I did not clean for you because this is, it's just not gonna happen. Because, you know, I work long days and when I get a day off, I'm very, very tired. I did not clean my window cells. I did not clean my house. I did, just for you, clean myself. It may not look like it. Because I do need to tame the bush on my head. This, I need to tame this bush. And maybe if I have the energy, I'll do that. No, I'm not going to do that today. But... Um, maybe next weekend when I have the week, this weekend when I have the weekend off, maybe I'll do it then. But anyway, I did clean myself and I did not clean the windowsills. So just deal with the dirt because that's real life. I bet you have dirt on your windowsills too. <laughs> okay, let's go do it. So it's no surprise, but my begonias are growing pretty well only because nothing really changes much for them season to season. Light, humidity. This pretty girl is doing well. I found that my bigger begonias are growing out of this shelf and I don't know what I'm gonna do because I only have this one shelf and I don't really have
have the funds to buy another at the moment. So the, the problem is that when I say they're growing out, I mean there's room to grow, but they're growing too tall for the light and so they're getting some sun damage. But this girl that happened to, but she's doing really well and she's growing like crazy now that I took her away from the light. She's got new growth all over her. She was getting bleached out and losing leaves until I pulled her away. And now she's getting much fuller again and much shinier again and doing fantastic. Uh, this beauty, and I forget her name, was in horrible shape when I got her from Steve's Leaves, like horrible, like I thought she was gonna die. But she has rehabbed well and now has new leaves coming all over her. My Marmaduke is looking better than she ever has. She has plenty of new leaves coming at all times. My Maculata Whitey Eye is putting out new growth on the regular, as the cool kids say. There's another new one over there. This piggy mac begonia is starting to suffer from being too close to the light. You can see some of those little piggybacked leaves are getting crispy. So I'm going to have to move her down. But she's getting new little leaves up along the stem. These three are brand new. That one's pretty new. So all of them are growing. Oh, trying to stand up. This is a new little cutting that I just got from like a secret planta thing. She's got a new leaf coming. This one is another one from the same person. New leaves all over her. This one was a cutting originally and it's grown a ton this winter. New leaf right there. Oh, look at how bad it was doing, but now suddenly the Milano Bellata has a new leaf there, new leaf back there, and two baby new leaves. See them tiny ones back there? But look, oh, oh, that's because I didn't, I had her in open air and she was doing fantastic forever like that. And then I don't know what happened. She's just started crisping up. So I put her in this little open terrarium and then bam, 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 four new leaves, like in a matter of two weeks. Okay, um, everything up there is just growing fine. And then these pink princess, cuttings they're growing really well too okay so begonias are growing well now look my fishbone cactus or rickrack cactus whichever you'd like to call it you remember the big girl she has taken off look at all of the new big fronds or leaves or whatever you'd like to call her hold on I'm gonna go one-handed and this could get messy there's new New babies. There, there. Obviously, those big ones. There's little tiny babies coming all over it. This is how they start out when they just start right there. So, whoa, dang it. So, she's growing really well. The Jose Buono has been growing like crazy over the winter. The Burl Marx is putting out new leaves like crazy over the winter time. Um, I have gotten, I don't know, backlighting is gonna be nuts, but this is my variegated string of pearls. And the length on this guy over the winter has been phenomenal. Now, I did put it under my BAM transformer light, 
since I moved here, so that could be part of it. But, I mean, the length has exploded on that one. Okay, so my Pilea peperomoides this winter has grown quite a bit, but I can't really tell you how much, so we'll just kind of move past that. This guy, since putting him up on the wall, doing very, very well, but you're not going to be able to see that. Um, okay, let's move on to a different spot, shall we? Oh, I forgot this beautiful begonia. That's another one that started getting really badly bleached because it was already getting too close to that light. All right, let's move on. Okay, when I talked about the cold affecting my plants, my Monstera siltipicana was one of them. Now, it was sitting by one of those windows that I saran wrapped, and you can see at the bottom, the leaves were yellowing. And that's where that cold wind was coming. Now, it's been still, this is one of the snow bunnies that's had incredible winter growth. It started out as little cuttings. And you can see it's still growing like crazy. And everything on top is kind of okay, but everything's been yellowing. And I'm positive that that's from the cold because I think the care hasn't changed. So I just moved it way over here by the humidifier, by the begonias. So I'm hoping that things will look up. I am a little concerned though. Let's take a peek at my Monstera Deliciosa. I'm convinced that these are just simply winter growers because every winter it goes bonkers and i've heard this from other people as well um, pam from pammy's planty things always tells me that hers goes nuts in the winter too so just in the last couple weeks these two leaves unfurled and are still trying to harden off there's another one down in there that's brand new and there's others that have just popped out recently too. So that is thriving. And then above that is my, let's get this light closer. That's my Philodendron giganteum, which is also really growing this winter. It's put out quite a few new leaves that are still a little bit small. Now I just repotted it because I thought that it might be putting off smaller leaves and I don't know if they were still just filling out or if, ooh, bumping into my light, or if they were getting smaller. So we'll see what happens. I also hadn't fertilized anything in a while, so I've been doing that. And yesterday, for the first time, I watered with fish tank water when I cleaned my shrimp tank. So we'll see how things do with that. So it has definitely not been fertilization that's been doing this. I do water with Super Thrive. My strawberry begonia. Oh, it's going to be so dark trying so hard to light it up and <laughs> lifting lifting my ring light up okay and now I can't see it all that's my strawberry begonia which started out as three <laughs> teeny tiny little fairy garden plants if you could see what I was doing right now you'd laugh okay and is now filled out really really well and is growing all of her little babies and really looking beautiful. I love her. Oh my God, I hope that lifting that light up as high as I was doing helped to some degree. But look at those. I know it's so backlit, but I hope that you can see it with the help of the light. Oh, probably not. And then my string of hearts, 
this one, I have three, three different ones, has gotten very, very long over the winter. So this window, although very backlit, you can see, oh, and this Pilea peppermoides over the winter has put out tons of little babies. And it did not have any in the beginning of winter. And also leaves coming new all of the time at the top. Let's move on to the next window. This is that mystery Monstera and it had not done anything for the longest time or so I thought but what it had been doing is one of the aerial roots that grew down into the soil apparently had been rooting because a couple of weeks ago I suddenly had two new growth points come out of the soil. This one made this little cute leaf and this one was much bigger and oh where did it go it's way in there somewhere hold on i'll find it has put out that big leaf so apparently it was working on roots and those two new beautiful leaves and then the other thing that's really growing like crazy in here is this syngonium. This was one of the ones that came from under a table at the greenhouse at work. And as you can see, kind of, oh, I'm gonna do this lifting up again. Okay, it had actually worked this time. So it's been growing upwards, but look, there are new leaves and vines just going crazy on that one okay this little moonlight philodendron won't stop growing it's still putting out beautiful new leaves constantly every time one unfurls there's another on the way right behind it check it out there's my saran wrap. That's ghetto classy right there. Ghetto classy. This is where I've been having trouble. That last window, you probably saw it too. I didn't even think to show it off. So that beautiful, oh wait, not moonlight, lemon lime. Oh dear God. Okay, now one of my very favorite plants, right? I show this off all the time, my philodendron silver sword. This is the one that was suffering terribly from the, what I believe is cold. The leaves have been going yellow at the bottom and then having to come off. So I have lost several leaves. Nothing's changed with the care. It's just this damn cold window, I believe. And I am scared to death. I'm just going to lose them all the way up. And this is like my one of my top five favorite plants. It's always thrived before. I should probably move it. I just don't know where. So that's my struggle one. Now, my weird little Raphidophora tetrasperma that's always had little tiny leaves. I don't know if it's a, like a slightly different Raphidophora tetrasperma or what, but it's never had big leaves. It's always had small leaves and it's always been in good conditions. That one had suddenly stopped growing. It always grew really fast. Um, but suddenly this winter, it's been growing again. So I don't know, I don't know if it's just the winter grower or what. Oh yeah, I can't, I can't get up that high. Oh, ouch, ouch, I stepped on something. Oh, it 
can't, I can't get up that high. They're right there. Oh no, you're not gonna be able to see it. Oh, ouch. You're not gonna be able to see it. You can see a silhouette. There's a growth point. Oh, okay. It hadn't grown probably in six months. And then there's other spots too where finally, like this one is new. Oh, only on the outside, only on the outside. There, this one is new, brand new. Okay, yeah, it only wants to show you the snow to prove that it's winter, that's fine. Just take my word for it, that one's growing really well too. So after no growth from like summer and fall, suddenly in the winter it starts growing. So snow bunny. And over here, the only, well, actually, oh, it's not gonna be a lot of light, but again, Syngonium, this one's growing a bunch. Spider plants, all of my spider plants just grow year round, so I don't think there's anything special about that, but that one's putting out its first baby. That was all cuttings not long ago. And then up there, which I'm not gonna be able to get to, is a little philodendron that I don't remember the name of. It's not a Hartley philodendron. It's not any others that I know. I forget what it is. Anyway, that one suddenly is really taking off too. We are now in El Baño, my bathroom. Do you have to go? I'm not gonna show you, it's disgusting over there. Okay, this, I will say all of my uh, Ripsalis and jungle cacti, Everything like that is going crazy. They didn't in the summer, but they are now. This one, I don't know an exact name on it, so I'm not even gonna lie and pretend I know it. Um, I never knew it. it. I got it from Meyer, one of our like grocery slash big box chains um, for $9.99. It was, kind of in bad condition. It rehabbed outside all summer and kind of just grew roots. And now suddenly in say the last three weeks, it started putting on new growth everywhere. And it's fast. Like I'm blown away how fast it is. Do you see all of those brighter green spots? And then like that, I mean, that was nothing but a bright green tip on the end of the other frond leaf maybe a week ago. I just can't believe how fast they come on. So the fastest winter grower around. I'm blown away by that one. And then up here, this bromeliad, it's not necessarily growing that I can tell, but it's been blooming like crazy all winter long. The blooms are very insignificant, very insignificant. If you can see it in there. It's just a teeny tiny white flowers that come out, but they've been happening constantly all winter, so I guess that's something. All right, I just moved this philodendron up here. Let's see if I can lift my light. Oh, I unplugged it. Oh, hold on. Oy, oy, oy. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Trying to do this one-handed. See that sweatshirt over there while I'm trying to do this? That was my dad's in the 80s when fuzzy um, iron-on letters were popular. That's my maiden name, right? So it's one of the things I have of his. I wear it all the time. I love it. They're those velour fuzzy letters. They've never come off. Washed a million times since the 80s. God, I love that thing. Okay back at it. All right, don't unplug your light. This philodendron, I don't know what it is. No one's ever been able to ID it for me, but it never stops growing. It's got a new leaf coming up there. I just today moved it in here, so hopefully it'll do okay. 
Um, it's a south, two south windows in here, but they're frosted. But things obviously seem to do well in here, probably the humidity. Um, I moved it because I moved that Silta Picana over to that spot next to my begonia shelves, and I needed a spot for this. Okay. Now, I mentioned all my ripsalis are growing like crazy. This is my hairy stem ripsalis. It did nothing forever, even outside. Now, winter comes. It bloomed like a month, month and a half ago. Now it's blooming again. Okay, I'm trying to go in between my uh, dog tail cac rat, no, rat tail cactus and it's brutal to touch, so I'm trying really hard not to touch it. Hopefully this will focus. Ouch! Mother of God! Ugh, I was so careful about the rat tail cactus, I didn't think about that. God dang it. Okay, see those? Okay. Well, those are all over it. Now, what I've seemed to learn as this the first set of blooms fell off is that what it seems to happen, oh God, I'm gonna get stuck more. What seems to happen is after it blooms, the bloom comes off and then it splits into new growth. So all of that is new. And like all of the spots where there were blooms are brand new stems, like, you know, all of the older stems. So, or things like this. So look how cool that is. Like that's a spent bloom. Look at how cool that looks. Isn't that neat? So then look, it's just, all of this is new. It has grown so much. That one blows my mind. So that's grown a ton. All right. Um, trying not to show you my to toilet. Oh, I gotta move this. The big dog glue that dogs never use. Oh God, what a waste of money cannot train them to use it. I can train them to use it the floor, anywhere. Anywhere on the floor, not on the dog loo. Okay, this one is my night blooming cactus. It's also been growing. It did nothing forever. This little guy here, oh dang. Can't get my light any closer. That little guy's new, look here. There's a new guy there. Um, everything has just been growing on that. There's this Hoya Australis here that starts down there. It's just a generally fast growing Hoya, but over the winter, it's made it all, oh, you can't see it. It's made it all the way up to here. And there's tiny new leaves coming up on that. Okay, I think that's it. And oh, no, I should mention this little mystery um, peperomia has put up new stems from the soil. They're very, very cute. And my African violet family here, <coughs> They've gotten much bigger over the winter. Those I grew from leaf cuttings. I know nothing about African violets. They're in regular potting soil and I water them like everything else. And I know there's all sorts of things to know about them, but I really don't care. I just treat them like everything else. I just don't get the leaves wet if I can. Okay. This is the glass shelf in my bedroom and my cheese head. Go pack go, even though you didn't go to the Super Bowl. All right, this is the biggest winter grower in here. My Syngonium elbow, ver no, my 
yeah, syngonium elbow. Okay, so it was cuttings when I got it from Mocha of Mocha based carry. And suddenly, in the last month, it started growing. In the last couple of weeks, it put on that, and all of these are new leaves. Isn't that beautiful? I did not know how much I would love this plant. So it's doing amazing. There's more new leaves coming. I love this. It's just gorgeous. I love how every leaf is different and the colors are just beautiful. And then this little lipstick plant, it's got new stuff coming all over it and it looks like there's blooms coming again. Uh, uh, they're there, just trust me. They're at the end there. And there's several in the middle of different things. So, of course the peperomias are growing, but that's normal for them. And begonias, same thing. They always grow. And they always bloom. So this Peperomia scandens I have had for quite a long time and it I used to hate it because it just had a couple of straggly stems and it almost died a couple of times. I almost threw it away several times actually. And I put it outside over the summer and it got healthy. So brought it in, but it continues to grow. Again, it's a Peperomia, so it should be growing during the winter, but it's been growing spectacularly and I've grown to love it. It is blooming now all over the place. New little leaves, blooms. It's gotten really full and really long. So I've grown to love that plant. I'm surprised because I got to tell you, I really seriously disliked that plant my variegated Atoya compacta, which honestly I had kind of grown to detest as well, I now really like because it's doing really well. And look! For some reason I cannot focus on it, but there is a bloom. I don't know why I cannot focus on that. It simply will not let me. And then like all of my other guys like this, this dogtail cactus has put on so much new growth. All of that up there is new. All of that is new. Everything that you see at the ends is new on this guy in the last month or so. So I don't know what it is with epithetic cacti and ripsalis, but they love the winter. Ah, I'm sweaty, much sweatier than I was in the intro. So I know I didn't catch everything and I probably caught way more than you wanted to see, but um, so as you can tell, um, oh, I missed my resinifolia, that's okay. As you can tell, things are doing really well this winter, and there's a couple of things that are struggling a little bit, but I think that's to be expected. Um, also, between the cold weather and the fact that I'm in a brand new place, so there's been adjustments, different lights, different air, all of that. So I think with all of that combined, things are going really well. Um, but I hope you enjoyed seeing my snow bunnies and uh, my good winter growers. So, maybe you want to move to Wisconsin, hey? Yadder, hey there, don't you know there, Cheddarhead, yeah? My name is Jan Janssen, I come from Wisconsin, I work in the lumber yard there, right there, the people I meet as I walk down the street, they say, Yadder, hey? And I say, Yadder, hey there, don't you know there, Cheddarhead, yeah? And they say, What's your name? 
and I say, my name is Jan Janssen, I come from Wisconsin, I work in the lumber yard there, right there. It just goes in a circle. I could keep going forever. So anyway, I hope you have a fantastic day. I hope your plants are growing fantastic this winter and you're not having too many casualties. <coughs> Wee -ha! Make sure you're wearing a mask, holding your breath around people, not doing crack or smack. Make sure you are, hmm, let's see, not putting needles in your eye, because that would hurt. If you get zits, use those little stickers that pull the zit out, the goo out and stuff. My, I learned about those from someone in my family who would be really mad at me if I said it, who it was. Not that they watch my channel, because that would be embarrassing. But I learned about them and I had a zit and I used one and it worked so well. So use the zit stickers and have a fantastic day. <gasps> Bye.